What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Garden Oath Bar Checking. I had a few worms that were crawling on the lid, so I just quick tossed them back in. So today will be the 25th feeding. I plan on making some bedding and trying what uh, Brian went ahead and suggested is basically take the tray and set it on top of new bedding. Um, but I want to kind of inoculate it a little bit. So I want to get it um, started. You know, the, uh, the glue is pretty much broke down on that. This will go back into the uh, feeding zone. Hmm. Oh, it was the blended food. I was like, man, looks like all the food went. Yeah, it was blended food. That's why it went pretty quick. And there's just a little bit left. So this feeding should stick around a little longer. I have a banana peel. some orange peels the watermelon should go pretty quick and then some potato peels I expect this to a good amount of this to be around for next week I used up the last of my uh, coffee grounds so I'll have to wait till I get the next delivery and then I can uh, put some more of that in I'm gonna add the ground up eggshell for the grit and then go ahead and bury this looks like a little bit more of that uh, blended food so I'll just tuck that under as always I like to add a little bit of that worm chow on top goes ahead and gives the worms a little extra food they can start eating that as it starts to get moist and wait for some of that other food to start breaking down and get ready for them to eat it. Do another quick peek in. Oh, oh yeah, it's looking great. I'm not gonna mess with this for this feeding. And just looking checking out under here I see some moisture in the corners a little bit of castings a little bit more moisture and castings there Yeah, so I think the harvest on this will be kind of neat. Um, going ahead and trying to uh, allow these guys to exit the bottom through the holes um, with some fresh bedding. And then hopefully it just leaves the castings right in the container. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get that set up this week, the, the bedding, and then start doing it for next week. So hopefully within a week or two I will have this all converted over and then you guys can check out and see if it's worth the effort to try to do it that way uh, it will be my first go so I may have some things to tweak in the future if I try it again this has been going strong for 25 weeks now time really flies um, and actually it's 26 weeks because I started it and I really didn't count that first uh, initial feeding when I got the, the tower all together. So, uh, but this is the 25th feeding. Um, very cool. The population definitely has grown uh, from the start of only 350 worms. 
If you guys have any questions, don't forget to drop them down in the comments. Thanks for coming along and checking out the video. Everybody have a great day. Okay, this is a little bonus action. I keep seeing all these worms and it's... Uh, and it's getting to me. So I want to see what's going on underneath. I see 12 up top. Holy cow. A real quick count, I got about 35. Wow. Okay. So there's around 50 on the mat. And then, oh, and then around another 50 here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start this process over and drop these guys back down below. So if they feel up to it, they can climb back up. But I would say that there's, there was about 100 worms up top here, which is wild between the lid and that coconut coir mat. Once again, I'm not getting every last one, but a good group of them, put them back down. And once again, if they feel ambitious enough to make it back up, they can do it. So I think that was pretty neat to see. Okay, everybody's back in place. So you guys got a little bonus today. Everybody have a great day.